Hey, what's up everyone? This is Nergal from Me and That Man and uh, our new album, new songs, new man, same shit. Volume 2 is almost out. November 19th is the release date and now I'm gonna do track by track. So let's start with the first one. Black Hearse Cadillac is a song, uh, it's a weird opener, honestly. I remember when I was putting the, the, the order of the songs, I was just creating like the, you know, the vibe for all, like overall vibe for the, for the album. I really wanted to do it exactly opposite as what I did with volume one. So this time I really wanted to go more moody and more like eerie and, and um, just more atmospheric. Um, like the main theme is strongly inspired by a funeral march. And uh, we completed the whole musical, like the, 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 yeah, the instrumental form of that. And the question I was, who's gonna sing on this one? But I got another amazing, absolutely great talent that shared his voice on this song. And uh, I'm talking about Hank von Hell. Hang von Helvete from Turbo Negro, one of my all-time favorite bands. Anders Oden, uh, another good friend of mine, is helping out with the song with some extra instrumentation there and he recorded it too. So these two dudes did absolutely phenomenal work. I dare to say that this is the first and so far only Me and That Man song <laughs> when you can hear a vocalist rapping because I honestly think that you know what Hank is like the way he's like the intonation and the, and the rhythm and the groove of his vocals it's almost rap and I love it it's gonna be a big surprise for all those who listen to albums from start to finish if you don't skip it if you if you start off it's gonna be a big fucking surprise <laughs> The second song on the record, I really wanted a banger. I wanted something faster and more energetic, just to keep the right dynamics. And I picked uh, Under the Spell, which is one of my favorites on this album. And I invited uh, Mari Gour. <laughs> uh, yeah, a good friend of mine from Sweden. He's also known under the name Tobias absolutely unprecedented artist, brilliant mind and, and a really nice human being. And uh, I remember when I sent him the, the demo, he was like, holy shit, it's, it sounds cool. It's like, it sounds like Rockabilly's Motorhead. And uh, he really dig that, you know. So I jumped on the plane from Warsaw. I landed in Stockholm. I went straight to the studio. We spent pretty much the whole day in the studio, just, you know, figuring out what and how. So he's not one of those guys that just gets a song and he's just gonna go to the studio on his own and just record it and send back. So we needed an interaction. I wrote the music and I brought the lyrics and then me and Tobias, we were just fucking around with the, with the lyrics. A lot of stuff were, were changing while we were recording his vocals and uh, he uh, wrote the melody, the vocal melody and um, yeah, I'm a big fan. It's a, it's a really cool adventure and a nice trip and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. The third song on the record, All Hope Is Gone. Oh, it's a beautiful song, it's a beautiful blues ballad and uh, yeah I just wanted to show you one of the like modern blues artists that I'm a huge fan of. Honestly one of the strong inspirations for me to start Me and That Man and to continue Me and That Man it's just a classic blues ballad uh, but what is absolutely brilliant about that song is that I managed to gather three living legends on one song. 
and I'm talking about Blaze Bailey, Wolf Bane, and ex Iron Maiden vocalist, doing absolutely phenomenal work with writing lyrics for that one. Lyrics that are so touching, and it's a real story. I'm not, I mean, I'm not in position to tell more than this is the life story of, of Blaze's wife passing. And it's touching, it's serious, it's, it's, it's sad, and it's beautiful. And uh, I picked like two of like, amazing and very influential guitarists. Mantas, Jeff Mantas from Venom, with this opening lead that just makes the whole song sound very Gary Moore-like, at least that's my impression. And then the second lead, the second solo, like the you know more shredding and just crazier one, uh, is played by another good friend of mine and another legend, Gary Holt, the guy who started Exodus and the guy who's been a you know, part of Slayer uh, in the last 10 years or so. And I really hope that you guys who listen to that song will, uh, will appreciate all the effort and all the heart that was put into that track. <laughs> 